It's just starting to get light outside. We just finished all the morning chores. It's butchering day for our steer. It's our first time. First, I got a review. I have a, mem I have a, I have a member video, thankfully, on how to do this. I filmed it myself. We just need to go over it, freshen up. So I'm gonna do this like anybody else would. I'm gonna go to the members page, members.permaculture.com. Since I'm already a member, I just go log in here. If you're not, you can hit the join now button. And it's already, it's remembered that I'm logged in. And I need to go, well, I could search for it right here, uh, but I know it's in master classes. I wanna show you guys these master classes anyway. We've got permaculture chickens. We've got Great American Farm Tour. We've got uh, Raising Meat Chickens Masterclass. Raising the Art of Beef Butchery Masterclass. That's what I need. And the Art of Pig Butchery Masterclass. Come on in, Arun. We're reviewing the notes, how to do it. So look, he's, he, then he's cutting down the arms. That's after he cut off the feet. Okay, I got this. I filmed this years ago. <laughs> I filmed this two, three years ago. Two. I'm in one. Now getting the nerve to do it. Year and a half. Okay, look, he bent that leg. And he's cutting right through the joint. I'm writing down the steps in case I forget. Man, that video was so good. It was just 19 minutes, but it's showing me how. Well, we're just going to do the kill and the gutting and the halving. Okay, nice. Nice drawing. <laughs> and, uh, and then. We're going to put it in the fridge, take it to the butcher tomorrow. They're going to hang it for two weeks. you got to hang beef for two weeks. Uh, just, I don't know, soften it up, age it up, tenderize it. We've got to get the honing tool. Do we have the honing tool? The butcher twine. Right, they're really drawn this morning. Okay. Uh, I wrote down notes so I can remember. You know, that's in the memory area. If you guys want to learn how to on-farm harvest chickens, pigs, cows, it's all in the member area. Used to be only just available at premium level, but I've made it available at all levels, even monthly. So check that out, members.abundantpermaculture.com. Right now we're doing a fall registration Monday till uh, midnight. We've got some bonuses going with that. Okay, you've got the twine? Yep. So I think I might add these notes to the member area. So you guys have it, so I have it next <laughs> time. Don't have to do it all over again. Will you guys get a pan of alfalfa perhaps? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to do that with the other cows in there. But we need a pan out there anyway to catch the blood. So a pan, a bucket, the gambrel, chains, a knife, Here, he the gun. I'll go get the I gun. Saw. So I was super nervous about this until I watched that video. That made me feel a lot better. And I've got notes for it. I think we got this. I've done sheep before. It's very similar. I've seen this done before lots of times. I was so nervous. That made me feel better. All right. I got this. So now I think I'm more nervous just about finishing on time for milking. We have about an hour and a half. We could go two hours. I think we got it. It's not something that if you start you can really quit. You, you got to get it up. The plan is to go kill on pasture and then bring him back here. Kill and bleed out there and then bring him here under this tree and skin and gut. Give us a sign. If this tractor starts really well, oh, yeah. it's going to all go really well. Stop. Okay, I think we got everything. Yeah, what, one chain will do it. We got our gambrel. Okay, we got our pan for catching the blood and pour it in these buckets. Yep. All right. Boy, we're a sight right now, Rune, if somebody were to drive by. <laughs> So he's actually up eating minerals. That'd actually be really good. We gotta make sure Polly isn't right behind him. Or the cows. Guys, I actually think this is perfect. I actually don't like that. I think those cows are plenty clear. That'd be a really bad shot, but I'm... Yeah, I'm a hair nervous about Polly right there. Actually, he's looking right this way. So I could get him to look at me. And then nothing is in the background. Nothing. We got him down. Jenna has slit the throat. She's bellowing, but she's bellowing for her calf, who's right here. Oh, what happened? He shot me with his poop. He pooped and it shot out? Yeah. Oh my gosh, disgusting. Okay, you can go clean up. We're going to pull him on down the hill with our hands, and then we're going to pull the tractor in. 
I don't want to get the tractor on a heel. It's just too easy to tip. So we'll get it down here flat. All right, we've got him hooked up. I'm just happy that part's over. That's definitely the hardest part, scariest part. It's over, okay. I think it's downhill from here. All right, let's get him uh, over to the barn. Just I unhook him from the tractor bucket. Arun's got the other four by four. Okay, you gonna get started on this one? Yeah. Okay. Be careful not to hit bone. Guess you okay, to... my notes. And so we're supposed to do the four by fours. Good. Cut straight down neck to tail. You guys are getting around the joint. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the skin. I'm gonna switch with Jonah. He said it's too hard to get the leg off. Okay, I got the back leg on. I'm breathing hard. That was difficult. I think that's one of the most difficult things. Oh, oh the boys are really starting to get the hide. Skin. Two legs down, one to go. Uh-oh, somebody cutting the meat big time right there. Oh well, keep on trying, Look, keep getting better. It doesn't get on the hide. I make sure to not keep cut, see. Cut at the hide Yeah. and not the meat. See, the, see when I had to do that, Ooh, I there you go. that. Good job. Good. And then I accidentally I do that. Meat on it. Just how you're doing really good, taking your time. Arun, good job. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> now, according to our notes, we're gonna cut down the arm and across. Mm -hmm. All right, we did it, guys. We've got it skinned. The belly, I think that's a good job for our first time. What do you guys think? You like cut oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now what you do is you cut right through there. Here, let me get it started, okay? That Wow, they cut through a lot of bone. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm pretty sure the back leg I should have cut off right here. I did this with the sheep because that's what I'm supposed to suspend it up with. Shoot, I did this with the sheep. Why did I do that? We're gonna try hooking it into that, but I do not think it's gonna work. All right, I am the epitome of just do something even if it's wrong. All right. But I'm learning, I'll never do that again. Never did it again with a sheep. Never do it again with a cow. So let's cut around this, and then so that then we have more of a hey. knot right here. Whoa. It's 10 till nine, normally we milk at nine. We can go to 9.30. I think with this, this is a little bit of a setback. I think we would have been on track. Maybe we can catch up. We did a slip knot around this, so the more weight we put on it, the tighter it gets. We should be able to hook the ropes up to the gambrel. Tractor won't start, it's not even trying. It's like it doesn't engage with neutral or something. Some does this sometimes. You can try it. Maybe I was doing something wrong. But I doubt it. We're getting the suburban up here. I don't know. We're gonna try to jump it, but I don't know if that'll work because it's not neutral. Now we can't pop the hood. <laughs> I can feel the latch. Here, maybe I didn't pull it hard enough. That's as far as it'll go. Batteries on that side. Sure. Extra long cables, heavy duty right here. <gasps> Cross our fingers. Okay, good. Yay! Oh. Okay, the rope held is the chain. So that chain's gotta be hooked to itself, guys. It, it did break our knot, our, our rope broke, so we doubled up our rope. Okay, we put it three three knots in this one this time. Our room has got a pole in case the bucket drops. Okay, now, if this hydraulics give out, we have the pole. Everybody's safe. Pretty now we're gonna skin it and gut it. All right, we are jumping a little ahead of ourselves, starting to split it. So it's going good, actually. We gotta get it up, get the head off, finish splitting, and then that's it. Wash it. Okay, we've got it washed off. They want us to cut it into quarters. I'm thinking we put the barrel Nope. And under it and then cut it off and let it hopefully it falls in the barrel. That was pretty easy. I cut along the bone. Or yeah, in between the bone now I'm just gonna cut that side bar. Whoa! We got them in the barrels. I'm so happy. I'm so ecstatic. We got our fat, heart, and liver. Man, I am so excited. I, f I feel like, I might feel like what a member feels like when they go inside that area, go to an instructional video, get right to the point. 20 minutes, guys, it was 19 minutes. And I learned how to do that. So empowering.
so empowering. And oh, I'm just so excited. I did this alone, alone. There's no pros. Arun's never done that before. I've seen it done, never done it before. Made some mistakes, but it got done. I won't make those same mistakes again. So anyway, join us. Fail a lot, fail often, try to fail small, but that's, that's the best way to learn by just doing. I want you to join us. I'm not perfect. I teach you what I know. We're in there together learning things from each other. What? Oh yeah. Well this is moose. Now that when we eat uh, beef and we have somebody over, we like, we're gonna eat some moose. So join us. Guys, we got some bonuses up during the fall. Registration until Monday. If you're missing that and you're in a pinch, I feel for you. So we're actually gonna do, uh, I'll leave a link for a free trial down down below. I mean, you won't get everything you, you would if you sign up now in the fall. Uh, maybe with some bonuses and stuff, but you would still get the video library and the and the, the private Facebook group. We're in there learning from each other. I hope you'll join us. Members.abundantpermaculture.com. I'll also leave a link in the description. Let's get this cow inside and then uh, in the cool room. And tomorrow, we take it to the butcher to have it broken down. Well, it'll hang for two weeks and then it gets broken down. Not, not that one. That one's not really off-road. Let me go get our off-road one. Our future's looking bright. Rebecca's made ice cream, homemade ice cream. What's the occasion? Lily's birthday's tomorrow. It is. It's tomorrow. Little nine-year-old tomorrow. Can you believe it? Your little girl. I still think of her as a <laughs> little, little kid. I know. I mean, so she is a little kid. She but, chose you know, well. She chose the ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. So we did a layer of chocolate, and then I made. Hot fudge sauce that yeah. will be layered in there and we're gonna cut up some nuts and she chose chicken parmesan chicken parmesan with alfredo yep. um, and broccoli all right and i am totally cheating for the birthdays he's totally that's eating. the one exception it'll be interesting and to see how she you chose feel good. After yeah you yeah that's true she chose good i'm looking forward to it birthdays are always fun normally we don't have a weekend vlog but we're gonna vlog it we're gonna uh do Lily's day. Let's follow along a day in the life of Lily and let's celebrate her life tomorrow. Well, I don't know if this video will go out Saturday or Sunday, but it'll be the next video.